hey what's up guys this is Paul the auto technician from Paul Nash Autos Garage and today here we are working on a, a 2012 uh, Honda Fit or Honda Jazz in some countries and this uh, amazing Honda has a, an out of the box uh, technology uh, called the IMA integrated motor assist I want to show you something amazing here about this Honda technology that is uh, typically out of the box so we have this motor right here, this electric motor. Uh, it's an MF6 motor. Uh, an amazing AC three-phase motor. It assists this, uh, this engine to run uh, uh, without consuming a lot of fuel. Uh, this one here, this is the centering mechanism for the damper uh, wheel. Uh, the damper, uh, it's kind of like a clutch uh, pressure plate assembly. And uh, this electric motor, as you can see the windings here, uh, between this, uh, through the, those holes, you can see the winding. This motor, it has the three-phase uh, cables, the U cable, the, the V cable, and the W cable. Now these cables, what happens with this amazing technology is that uh, uh, it's an IMA, Integrated Motor Assist. So it assists this engine to run, uh, so the engine runs without uh, consuming a lot of fuel. So it's kind of assisted or boosted to run uh, through the electric current that is generated uh, from the battery, the, the battery unit. Uh, it's, it's, it's located at the back of this vehicle, uh, at the trunk of the vehicle. So what happens is that uh, during the regenerative braking, after you release the accelerator pedal, and now you are slowing down, these three wires right here, uh, this is actually the wires, and we've already done the testing on the wires. These three wires are right here. Uh, we've got the U, U, U cable, uh, the V cable, and the W cable. So it's three of them. This is actually a three-phase AC current. So as you, 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 you slow down, the wheels now are turning. And they turn this uh, motor right here uh, via the dampener, the input shaft. So when they turn, uh, AC current is inducted through these cables all the way to the back of the vehicle to the inverter uh, converter assembly whereby this AC current is converted into DC current and is sent to the, the battery pack through two cables like this one here the negative and the positive cable so the current is inverted from AC current to DC current and then when you want to assist this motor to run uh, when you accelerate you press the accelerator pedal and, and uh, it's a situation whereby you're driving and uh, this engine requires uh, an assistance to run. The inverter and converter assembly, <coughs> it will, it will uh, draw current from the batteries to the inverter and converter assembly. Then the current will be converted to AC current or inverted to AC current. And it will be, the current will be transfer to this motor right here through these three cables so you can see that amazing technology from Honda and that is really uh, awesome so what we did before we did all that uh, before we disassembled this tranny we had to make sure that our safety has been um, taken care of and uh, when you're working on these electric vehicles or hybrid vehicles you need to use insulated tools and you also need to you also need to wear uh, insulated uh, rubber gloves, which have been approved by the the automotive industry that regulates the safety uh, in the world. So when you come here to this CVT trans, this is just an ordinary CVT transmission. Uh, this is the location of the CVT steel belt, and uh, you can see here this input shaft right here. We've got a uh, We've got this uh, o-ring right here now the the purpose of this o-ring the dampener fits on the assembly like that so this one here uh, 
if it's like that so this dampener right here uh, this is a coupler between the the motor the engine the motor and this transmission and this one here it, it acts like uh, the torque converter or the clutch and pressure plate assembly uh, so this dampener here it dampens that force for the smooth transfer of uh, torque from the engine to this transmission now some uh, some electrical units some uh, some hybrid vehicles or in, and even uh, electric vehicles they have two motors inside this transmission we have the mg1 the motor generator one and uh, the motor generator two the motor generator one its purpose is uh, starting the engine and charging the system the batteries and the motor generator two uh, is uh, it's connected to the intermediate shaft and then it transfers power to the drive axles so thank you very much for watching the video uh, share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel for this automobile repairs uh, amazing content